iReal Pro has been in existence for a very long time, but I don't use it, and this is why. Hey everybody, it's your friendly neighborhood saxman Alex here. This lovely copy was brought to you by Anonymous. I don't know who it was from, so thank you. If you want to support me, buy me a coffee. Link is in the description down below. iReal Pro has been in existence for more than 10 years. I believe it was 14 years, and the app has developed into such a versatile tool for jazz musicians especially. I'm gonna talk about why I don't use this app. When I was four, I started piano, and I couldn't read music. I would have to listen to my piano teacher and basically just transcribe it on the spot and learn it in like a week. You know, that was just how I always did it, and little did I know that that's what jazz musicians did. So when I got into middle school and started learning the sax at around 13 or 14, reading was much easier because I don't have to do two steps. And at the time I was using physical tuners and physical metronomes, so I didn't really use apps yet. And at that time, the iPhone had just come out. But little did I know that there was an app out there that could play backing tracks and you could see the chord changes to them. Back then in 2007, I believe the name was called iReal B, or that flat sign, which was really cool and it was kind of innovative. Some friends had downloaded the app and were very curious about it and said it was kind of revolutionary. But here are some reasons why I don't use iReal Pro. The first reason why I don't use iReal Pro and I don't recommend it to my students is because if you use iReal Pro to practice it a lot, you are depending on it visually to know the changes. And I know a lot of students who are in middle school and high school read concert band charts and are expected to read them and always have a paper in front of them so that they know what notes, what dynamics, what certain articulations, what certain styles to know. But in terms of jazz, we have to expand our knowledge, not just in the visual, but also in the auditory. So I don't recommend iReal Pro because of that, because I want my students to learn a tune by themselves just by listening to the record, to the original, not on a app. <laughs> the same thing goes for a physical real book. I don't want my students to look at a lead sheet always and then depend on playing the melody and the chords the way the real book intended. There are so many different versions out there that you're supposed to know and I think the iReal Pro and the real books don't do it justice. The dependency is on the visual and you really really need to hone in on the auditory and iReal Pro does not cut it for that. The second reason is because it's very robotic. If you open up iReal Pro and push a tune ready to play, it's very robotic. The swing is really, really weird. The chords that are comped are very simple and there is no interaction. Everything is just pre-planned. This is why I don't recommend it to my students because they lose this aspect of surprise that jazz gives you. Surprise! If you're in a jam, you have to interact with the bass player, the guitar player, the pianist, and the drummer simultaneously and listen. This just makes me feel like you're going on autopilot and just listening to the chords and seeing what's next. There are so many free human played back songs that you can play along with that have interactions that are real, where the swing is real, where the instruments are real, that you can use. So I, that's what I recommend. And the most important thing is that there's nothing there. There's no changes so that you actually have to interact with the musicians, not just look at the changes and hear it and there you go. Obviously, after the pandemic, the best thing you can do is actually play with musicians because then you can really feel the interaction between the physicality of both instruments. The third reason, is because it costs money. I don't know what you're thinking. Alex, so what? Get a job. You'll be able to pay off that money in no time. It's only 15 bucks. Yes, iReal Pro goes for $14.99 on the App Store, and it's not that expensive, but for a high schooler or a middle schooler, it's not worth it. Trust me, there are so many free online backing tracks that you can use on YouTube or on any other website that's available to them that you can use that are actual instrumental musicians. So why pay $15 when you have that? Or when the pandemic's over, go with your friends, jam with your friends. 
And my last thoughts are that I don't want my students to become dependent on this app. I don't want them to create bad habits, especially for the younger students that I have. I want them to use their ear as much as possible and I want them to understand the interactions that they need to have in jazz. Having this app will just create this crutch that will really affect them when they get into the collegiate level. I cannot stress how many students and colleagues of mine have used this app in such a bad way where they become so dependent that when they're in a jam session, they don't know what to do. They freeze up because the pianist plays a substitution and it's just like, oh my God, I didn't ever, I have never heard of this chord in this setting before. What do I do? And then you get lost. I'm not saying this app is bad. In fact, this app is revolutionary. Before this, you would have to use Jamie Abersolves and kind of just figure it out on your own or look up lead sheets online. And even then it was just the real book in that. So this is a revolutionary app, but do not be dependent on it. I know that if you're in a pinch, if you're going to a jam and you don't know some chord changes, by all means, pull it up. That's good, that's fine. But I don't want any of you to be practicing this all the time and just looking at the changes 24 seven, because then what's gonna happen when you're on the bandstand? You're not gonna have that. And if you do, you're gonna look bad. All in all, this is a great app, but I'm looking at this from an educational standpoint because I want the ear to be just as important as looking at the music. So thank you for watching the video. I know this is kind of a debated topic, so leave your comment down below and let me know how you feel about our real pro. Don't forget to like and subscribe and follow me on TikTok, Facebook, and Instagram for all your sax ed tips, jazz ed tips, and much, much more. Stay saxy. This lovely, lovely.